full collection, right for your MPC 4000. Over 1,100 sounds. Okay, now watch this. This is a multi. We're going to load all these programs in. We're going to select the mix right there. See that? The multi. Move our cursor up. Put it down right to here. This program. Turn the dial once. That's my first Dre kid. 808 kid. 99 sounds. Bump kid. See? You turn our dial one time. We load every kit that's in there. We got funk guitars, our Jeep set, the next level. That's for our video demo. We got the Neptunes. We got the percussion. We got a primo, the reggae kit, rock guitars. Oh man, that's our Sound King kit collection. We got the swing set, bass, bass three. That's our dance drums, dance hits, hi hat city. Molly Mall kit, snares, and we keep loading them in. Timbo. And see that a possible 32 space to restore data. Room. That's great. Oh, getting down. Time to make the beat up. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that. Okay. Now, I want to make a beat up. But first, I need to load some a program, or what they call a part, into this one track. Well, move the cursor down. As you can see here, it says drum, right there. Now this part here, of course, signifies we're in a drum section. Otherwise, here, we'd be in the instrument section. You see the little piano piece right there. See that? Piano pictogram. Point goes to MIDI. Well here, we don't want MIDI, we just want part. That's going to be internal. See that? And the part we picked out is the first part there. We can pick any part we want to from any part where we want to have those parts exist. In this case, I use the first part, which is my Sample Kings Dr. Dre setup. Next, I'm going to press record and play. And my tempo is what it set at 90 BPMs. I'll press record and play. to make sure you have the right quantized value for your particular sequence. In this case, we're using 16th notes, as you can see right there, with no swing, the usual 50% right there. Next, I have some hi-hats. I'll go with a new track. This is the reason why I actually set it up in the beginning of loading all the different programs into my MPC 4000. It makes it much more easier to choose a sound from the many sounds we'll have. I go to part, and now I'm looking for my hi hat cities, what we call this program. I'm going to find that one next. And there it is, hi hats. Every <laughs> pad has a hi on it. I'm going to find one. What? I go with that one. Record and play start. Two, three, four. Now I'm going to check my tempo. Sometimes I'm not too sure how tempo is going to be, so I may tap or keep the tempo in and speed it up. Get a feel I like. So I go to my mixer. That pad right there. I don't bring no fader down. See that fader come down there? So that's my first fader right here in the beginning of the on the front of the MPC, which controls that. See that? I can control that one sound. Play the beat back. 